you know, it's time once more to check in with the Jacksons. You know, we've been following Rob and Amy all year long as they've kind of let us ride shotgun on their home building ride with Eastbrook Homes. This month, things started to look a lot less like a construction site and much, much more like a home. Take a look as we continue building new with the Jacksons. We're home. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks good. Look at all the cabinets are in. It's looking awesome, huh? This yeah. is so exciting. Wow. This is where it starts to get a little more real, huh? It's, yeah. Uh, not just a big wide open space like we talked about last time. You got the cabinets in it, kind of the drywall, cabinetry, trim, kind of define the rooms as opposed to seeing that open concept all the way through. Granted, we still have a bit of an open concept, yeah. but not mm -hmm. as open, obviously, when you're looking at raw framing. So, um, pretty cool having the cabinets in, trims in, drywalls in, house on the exterior is all sided. Uh, things are prepped off, masked off for the painters to get in here. They're gonna be in here Monday and go into town. That's so, so exciting. Wow. It's fun to see some of the things we've picked out yeah. coming to life in here and feeling more like a home every time we come. And you know, back when you were in the design studio, you were picking off a swatch that's yay big, and you're yeah. like, is this all gonna work out? But yeah. when you come out here and you see it in person, you're like, yeah, yeah we did a great job. Right. So. And it's kind of surprising, because to be honest, I don't remember everything we picked <laughs> out. So it's like shopping all over again. Yep, it's like Christmas when you come in every time. Our daughter Freya really loves coming and, and going up in her room and right. she tells everyone what color her room's going right. to be yeah. and um, Parker's just along for the ride at this exactly. point. Exactly. <laughs> he's he's not, not really running his yeah. mouth yet. Mantle's new. That looks great. Oh. Do you remember what you went with around the face of that? Are you going with a uh, tile or stone? It is a tile. Okay. Yeah, it's a tile. It was a very thin tile. That's yeah. the one I can't really remember. So oh, that, it'll right. be a surprise. That's the exciting part. <laughs> So chatting furniture-wise, layout-wise, what are your guys' ideas for this area and kind of going into the dining room and the Michigan room? What are you thinking there? Yeah, um, so I'm thinking that probably the couch will be um, going this way along the room and then maybe a couple of chairs here to just keep this as open as possible, not block any of the windows. Yep. Um, I picture in the winter a Christmas tree going in this yep. corner. Yep. Uh, and then we'll have the dining room table over there and a um, couple of bar stools at the island, which I'm really excited about that. Just good, having yeah. an island to serve food on and eat quick meals yeah. at. We're thinking we're doing more hosting upstairs mm -hmm. and downstairs. So we have like all this space and right. throw a TV up here. Walking out into the Michigan room, what do you, do you have big plans for this area? I mean, it's kind of hard to envision completely, yeah. but maybe you had ideas already coming in. I think it will probably morph a little over time. Initially, I'm thinking there, there'll be some toys in here and kind of function as a playroom because it right. would be really nice if I'm working in the kitchen that the right. kids can play in here keep, and keep, an keep it out of the living room. Right. Um, but we also want a couple of cozy chairs because this is yeah. such a nice open area. space yeah. and um, just yeah. to relax and yeah. um, you know read a book or Straight have a cup light. of coffee. So we'll probably have a couple chairs and then maybe some toys and cool. yeah. And then as the kids get older, then move the toys out and have it right. be more like a reading. Then the basement space. area will be the sheer chaos for the right. Exactly. Shut, Shut the door <laughs> and just out of sight, out exactly. of mind. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there. And our right. owner seat. Yeah, this All is right. going to be great. You're going to have your, your headboard that way, huh? Yeah, Probably. the headboard here yeah. and the, the, hopefully That's a nice. king or maybe a California king. Right. Cal so California. Go, go with that. Big. You never know when those kids are going to end up in between you. That is and true. And you need as much space as you can. So, yeah, yeah you get the, the owner's bedroom, owner's bath, and yes. then the large walk-in closet all the way through. So I know we kind of walked through there last time. but I love oh, yeah. we, we picked out a navy bathroom vanity, so it's cool to see that in. Um, wanted to add a splash of color in here. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Let's check out this closet. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's even bigger than... I feel like it felt like before. There's gonna be a lot of room in here. Plenty of space. For me. So I'll probably have a dresser of some sort in here and then we'll have to get some um, built-in closet organization going to keep things nice and yep. neat. But it's, we'll have plenty of space, I think. Here is There's, Rob's right. closet right here and then here is mine. 
got the trimming right. down here. I can feel that, that um, how cool it is down here compared to, to upstairs. This is new. Yeah. We haven't seen that yet. Right. Right. Half wall cap on top. So put a pool table down here or anything. Right. Mm -hmm. Set your, set your beverage up on the uh, wall. Perfect. And hopefully it doesn't get knocked down on the nice carpet. Yeah, so. we, have, we have a ping pong table and mm -hmm. obviously lots of kid toys yeah. and a treadmill. treadmill. A drum set. Lots of things yeah. that have to find a home down yeah, here. Everything where you can have a door upstairs and close it down so that way the drums aren't going crazy. Right. right. Yeah. Or is it you? It's me. He plays the drums. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll put in the, the guest room. Sometimes Two he doors. gets a text message from upstairs. Yeah. Hey, someone's trying to nap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, looks good. Let's go check out the kids' room, huh? Yeah. Sneak in here. So do you remember what color for each room or not really? Yeah, so this is going to be Freya's room. Mm -hmm. And we picked out like a soft pink yeah. for, for her. Um, chose this for her because it's the bigger closet. Thought she might like that as she gets a little older. Uh, nice and close to the bathroom for her. It'd be great. Yeah. And you'll have to change the color every couple of years as she changes her mind. Probably, yeah. but yeah. we'll start She's with excited soft about pink. It she now. is excited. Yeah. Yep. Parker's room. Uh, this one, the color we're we can't quite remember what we went with. We yeah. think it was like a grayish. Darker gray. Something brown. <laughs> Maybe a little brown yeah. in there. It was supposed to, his, his room is like mountain, national park mm -hmm. themed. Oh, so, be awesome. Yeah, we have some pictures of um, a few different national park posters that will hang above his nursery and mm -hmm. yeah. It's always cool to see after you guys are in the home because we deliver the home just as a blank canvas basically aside from the colors and the options you selected. But then to go in and see what you really did with your furniture and pictures on the wall just kind of brings it full circle for us. So yeah. I really enjoy that. So yeah. yeah. We're excited. Good. I'm, I'm excited. Um, we're moving right along. Yeah. I think uh, you guys are going to get your 45 day notice which kind of talks about your closing and kind of gives you a brief description of what to expect over the next basically month and a half as we mm -hmm. go to the punch to the finish line. Um, before you know it, we're going to be walking through this house and giving you the keys. So, excited. Yeah. excited. Yeah, thanks Joe, it's looking great. Absolutely. Well, that, that finish line is getting closer and closer. I feel like we're learning just as much about Rob and Amy's family as we are about this new home construction process. And if that's you, you want to learn more about any of Eastbrook's communities, all you have to do is head to eastbrookhomes.com.